hey guys what's up nps 3d here and welcome back to another exciting video in today's video i'm going to share how i created light trails inside blender recently i created a visual effects shot for a vfx challenge hosted by ycgi and this was my final output so i want to share a couple of videos back to back and i will let you know like how i created the light trails how i created the cars moving on a certain path and also i am thinking to make a video where i will make some rigid body interaction with the car so possibly i will make it back to back and you will be able to see learn my workflow how i created these things in today's video i'm going to show you how i created these light trails so yeah without any more delay let's get started this amazing tutorial if you are interested in 3d cgi and visual effect we have some amazing products on gumroad i will mention the link on my video description you can go there and check it and there is 30 percent discount let me show you how i did it so this is blender 5 beta version and first thing first it depends on a path like which path you want to move and there are a couple of new feature in uh, blender version 5 but uh, we will not talk about that we have to create a path for the path i am going to use curve press shift a and use curve bezier curve and uh, now i can go to the front view and press tab to edit mode and here i can just define the shape which i want to move the trails in this direction okay so you will notice there are some less vertices going on so i can go to the object data properties of this curve and here is a resolution so i can simply make it like 35 and you will see the curve is in smooth you can increase it even more like 64 here i can simply go down and go to the geometry and i can extrude this geometry a bit something uh, like uh, this is our base shape so i'll shift d just to get a back off i will simply right click and convert this as a mesh so now this is bezier curve and this is our actual mess okay so here i'll go to the edit mode and now you can see we have a proper you know uh, shape going on so i'll press a to select everything press 7 for the top view and i can press e and move this into a certain direction like y and just make the shape which you want so you can see this is perfect now it's time to create the light trails so I use a uh, blender shader to you know create that effect so simply I'll go to the rendered mode go to the render properties and enable ray tracing and create a new light and choose a uh, area light maybe increase the size and increase the power just move it on top create also a ground a big ground and just move it just below of this select this and I'll go to the shader editor and here I click new to add a new material to create the light trails I will use the noise texture and first in the base color I will use a noise texture and uh, you will start able to see something going on and if you increase the scale you can see there is some pattern going on so I will use this okay I will use a color ramp to add contrast in between these black and white values you can see and here I can press ctrl T and by the way if no triangular is not enabled you have to go to the preferences and here search uh, node triangular and just enable this and save this control t and here the main magic happened first thing first i will use as a object so it will use object for the you know texture coordinate and here in the scale factor i will just make the x and y to minus 0.1 and in the g value i can increase it but here you can see the trails are uh, created but you know opposite direction so i can just use this rotation tool to rotate these things i can also use an empty so i'll shift a and create an empty plane axis and i'll move it over here so go to the edit mode press 3 select this face shift s cursor to selected and now select this empty shift s shift s selection to cursor i will select these and in the object i will select this empty and now based on this empty i can you know just rotate and change these things so you can simply rotate it and see where you find the you know golden spot and i believe 90 will be the perfect number and i can also move these things you can see now the question is how to animate so this is the z value 
which help us to you know do these kinds of simulation so not simulation actually the animation so i can play these i can also use the x location and this feel more right like it's moving from ground to top so i will use this x right here okay and this one to make more uh, streaks or less streaks so let's go with the point uh, sorry minus 10 for now here i can add more contrast in between to highlight these streaks even more so we have a lot of control to create these streaks the next question is it not looks like it's neon and there is a not a, you know transparency going on so i can select all these and use this as color as a alpha previously we have to go into the settings and then we have to change it from blender alpha blender opaque to blender alpha but now you can see this is happening right over here and we don't have to do anything extra so yeah this looks really nice you can see to add the glow i will use the same uh, emission uh, thing as here into the strength but onto the strength i can also use the math node and what math node actually does here is your option to change the blending so i can choose the multiply maybe and if i'll increase the brightness you can see the brightness increase over here so let me hide the light for now so you can uh, clearly see over here and if i'll go to the cycles mode so you can see so here i will go to the five for now okay and color is here so you can, i can change any color like blue or something whatever color i want or any warm color and if you feel light sticks are you know too thick so i can just come back to this scale slider and ju I just make it more in a negative side and we have very thinner lines you can see so this is really nice there are two more things which we can do to enhance this so if you'll observe this is first thing first i'll go here and add a solidify solidify modifier so basically it will fill uh, the area inside of these things so i can uh, you know sorry i can play with the inner uh, lines as well as if you feel you want uh, apart from this i can also use a bevel modifier to make these corners more rounded and i can just increase the segments and also the amount so this is before this is after so you can see this feel more uh, you know like we have adding more details into these another thing i want to talk uh, about is how we can animate it like we can use the location parameter and also the rotation let me go to the ev for now so here i will select and uh, let me create one more uh, parameter and if you will notice in blender 5.0 we don't have the timeline we have only the dope seat which has the you know timeline so here on let me make it 100 frames long and i'll press uh go here and press i to add keyframes here or if you want to add a single key keyframe just right click here and add an insert single key keyframe and go to the very end let me hide this alpha so i can clearly see like where how it's moving so i believe in a positive direction it's going upward so let's go with the 10 for now and press right click and add uh, insert single keyframes and if i will play you can see it's moving in real time you will not able to see this because uh, i'm not sure why because of the render engine but you can see this is moving and here if i want i can press a to select all these keyframe press t and choose it to the linear so it will move in a you know linear motion so this is the one thing which you can uh, add for the animation but the second part is like how i can control the growth of these things for that i have a different approach which is similar to this so here i will add a mix shader node and plug in between and in the second shader i will use a transparent bsdf so we have the same thing almost the same thing going on which is before okay because we have the transparency and along with the streaks now i can control the factor of the growth using this factor so for this i will use a gradient texture here in the linear mode i can press ctrl t to enable these texture coordinates and here i can uh, use the object okay and here if i want i can again select this empty you will notice we have uh, something going on and i can also add a color ramp here after the texture uh, gradient ramp 
so we can you know tweak this uh, so if you control shift and click here or click here so I can control this hard you know transition in between white and black so something like this will be okay now how to move it so based on these uh, location you can see we can move it but I want to I want the opposite so here I will simply click and flip it will be transition from a white to black you can see and if I will uh, control shift and click here so now you can see clearly this is how it's growing so let's suppose here press insert and insert single keyframes and uh, let's move this keyframe like in the 6 second and on the 30 it will be like something like this maybe 0 insert single keyframes so now if I will uh, move you can see this is growing and again I have the option to control this uh, growth like these parts so in my artwork when the girl hits the button these trails start growing and uh, start moving based on that and if you feel it's not reaching perfectly I can just increase the number a bit more like 2 and insert keyframes so I feel uh, this is uh, it for the tutorial and uh, I hope you will be able to learn something and guys I can just duplicate these things and create more copies of the you know uh, trails and I can definitely play with the scale as well as you can see like the scale also matter a lot because this is driven by the noise pattern so you can definitely control it as you want so thanks for watching this video and I hope it will be really helpful and because this is based on the curve you can create any shape of any pattern and you can apply this whole you know shader onto that mesh and it will work let's quickly try with the Suzanne let's put it down and apply the so this is Suzanne okay let's try the same material over here and let me duplicate to copy this and here into the empty I have to play with the empty as well as so shift D to duplicate and for this I will use the second empty and also same for the second empty we have option to you know and I can uh, this transition go in this direction and also I can just rotate these to see which direction is nice for the Suzanne I can also create these kinds of a you know kind of a hologram look you can see this is really nice guys and I can also make the subdivision to I can even also apply the solidify modifier here so we will get more you know trails inside just make the thickness inside but anyways I hope this was an useful tutorial and you able to make something really cool for your project so thanks for watching this amazing tutorial I will see you next time and don't forget to check out our amazing course and hit the like button if you really enjoy it Thanks for watching. Thanks for loving me. I am MPS3D and I will see you next time. Bye bye and take care guys.